Hello YouTube and welcome to Groundworks. This is episode 59 of the Interplanetary Voyage of Exploration. And today is the D-Day. D as Duna. So today we'll be sending Jeb to the surface of Duna. I'm just now transferring the supplies to his life support containers. And then we will proceed onwards to selecting the biome or the landing location where we want him to land and i'm thinking i would like him to land somewhere between midlands and lowlands because i'm not yet sure which place i would pick so now i'm just looking for some using my waypoint manager to find some correct landing spot that i could utilize and um yeah, so that's kind of... I'm, I was even thinking somewhere between the two biomes as that would enable us to basically get maybe the science information from both biomes. So then I realized this might be one place and but it's not in the sun so I might want to reposition a potential landing spot somewhere else. So I was just dragging it along to set it somewhere around here set location on a uh, map and I forgot you have to press save that you to actually for this to be valid okay so that's kind of a location that I was thinking about and um, that was for the highlands and a separate one for the lowlands and then let's proceed to decoupling Closing and pointing orbit retrograde and let's get first into the lower orbit. So I'm putting down my periapsis. Um, I think I will first reduce it to maybe around 40-ish and then I will want to, after reducing my periapsis, I'll want to basically deorbit myself. So yeah orbit retrograde and burning to get 90 by 90 first so that we are in a lower orbit unlike our space station uh, and now i'm checking for 40 kilometer orbit and that's the burn that should be happening let's say within the next i guess five minutes roughly give or take. While I'm doing that I'm also priming the parachutes because I want them to pre-deploy pretty high up and also to them to deploy pretty high up because Duna has very thin atmosphere and I want to make sure that my parachutes use the most of it. So copying to all counterparts making sure all of them are set to roughly the same parameters and you can see at the bottom our jab is dancing he's very excited to be the first Kerbal to be landing on the surface of Duna. Great. Let's us just skip to our maneuver node which is now in three minutes and then perform the burn that would reduce our periapsis to 40 kilometers. Perfect. 42. I'm pretty happy with that one. And at this point, somewhere around here, I want to create another maneuver node that would basically deorbit us. And the goal is to basically land somewhere between those two biomes and hopefully be able to, hopefully being able to like visit both of them. But that's something which we will see. So if I manage to land at both biomes, that's double the science, double the fun. So, yeah, closing up on our maneuver node, and we have 69.3 meters per second burn, so it's a very low burn. And we have 3.7 thousand delta V, which is more than enough. So, okay, that's it. We are definitely going suborbital. And um, I want to just turn the lander so it's easier for me to control it. 
close down the solar panel, close down the experiments that were left open and getting ready for an arrow capture basically. So I'm activating the nav point. It's Duna Lowlands and I'm hoping for the Lowlands because I would like the landing slope to be slightly less. I don't know how are the landing slopes on Duna. I haven't Honestly, I haven't been landing on Duna for quite a while, if you don't count the litho breaking done by the done by the um, exploration one for the from the comsat. So performing some um, experiments and I think I have my parachute set to open around 30 ish. I'm not exactly 100% sure, but I guess we'll find it out soon enough. 120 kilometers to go to the Duna Lowlands, and I think, or was it 20-ish? Well, we'll see soon enough. And yeah, it was around 24-ish. So, the first set of parachutes have pre-deployed, I'm extending the landing legs. And I'm hoping, I'm also using the engine to slow us down in the orbit. And... Okay. Let's see, uh, so... And now the rest of the shoots are popping as well. That should hopefully slow us down significantly enough. Or not, we have passed Duna Lowlands and we are now low over Duna, so just playing once again whack a mole with my um, science alert and burning quite heavily with my engine to, well, basically stop ourselves. And the parachutes have deployed at around 2000 meters above sea level as we discussed and uh, as they were configured so pretty now it's just following it the trajectory down to down to the surface and I'm actually a little bit worried because the slope says 14.4 degrees so that's a bit worrisome, so I'm now trying to see if I can use my thrusters to offset my landing location slightly. 13.8, yeah. Slightly less, but not by a large margin, so yeah, I will guess I'll have to use the engines to slow us down. 5 meters per second. Four, three, one, and oh, 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 crap, crap, crap! Wow, this was scary. Um, yeah, I don't think I will be landing at that spot. These legs are, by the way, a little bit longer, and I think that's the issue. So I'm actually going for this low area between the hills below. So the problem is that then I have pretty high horizontal speed that I need to kill. So yeah, and I all I still wanted to be landing by parachutes not by thrusters alone so and here the slope is even greater which is disconcerting and slope is 6.6 .6 here which I think is a great landing spot considering our previous ones so slope 0 0.6 perfect 2.9 and oh ooh, 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 our landing speed is a little bit high ooh, oh 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. damn oh well, the good news is we have landed. 
The bad news is we have landed flat, so... Well, let's worry one problem at a time. So first, let's us take some experiments. Oh! Wow! Did you see that? Uh, our actually magnetometer boom has helped us raise up. Well, I wonder if I could use that to actually straighten up the ship. Hmm. Well, it's definitely worth a shot. Okay, let's first pull out the ladders and have Jeb repack the chutes because I really don't want to be landing again using the engines. It's, in my opinion, a no-no. So. Okay, and while you're here, you might as well <coughs> make an AVA report and take a surface sample. Plant the flag. After all, you are the first Kerbal to has landed on Duna. Duna Midlands. Will I ever get home? <clears throat> yeah, Jeb, uh, buddy, I do understand you. I would be asking the same question, but let's be optimistic here. And let's try to use your magnetometer boom to see if we can propel you upwards. So, well, at least we have gotten some experiments and let's call this stranded like stranded or landed depends on how you look at it so I'm just now looking at the thrusters to see which control will help me straighten up once magnetometer boom is deployed and BAM and engine hit it whoa Whew. ladders retracted this was close Okay, I don't dare perform another landing uh, at this point, so I think I will just <clears throat> be very content with the amount of science I have gotten and just get the hell out of here. Screenshot. And let us go back to our space station, refuel, and we'll see if we will be performing another lander landing. Oh, and cool, we already have some science in addition to perform, which is great. Sorry guys, <clears throat> I panicked a little bit there. I was really worried that my mission has really gone south and that Jab would be basically stranded on Duna. Given the fact how much, how long the missions to rescue mission would take, I'm pretty worried that uh, I wouldn't be able to save Jeb before he dies. So yeah, <clears throat> this is definitely something that we'll need to consider for our future missions. Maybe some more life support supplies or something. Okay, so burning for the apoapsis of 50, <clears throat> and Biduna's atmosphere should be un I think either 40 or 50, I'm not sure. Now fixing the inclination and then let us do a circularization burn. Also we will be touching the um, orbit of, the, of our station by a little bit margin and then we will first let's perform the circularization and then we will be performing the rendezvous and docking back but all in all I mean despite um, the landing hiccup we were still able to get some valuable science off the Duna surface so I'd say it was worth a trip Jeb certainly doesn't seem to mind he is happy well Jeb is always happy so yeah you can you, you you cannot but admire his enthusiasm. Okay, all this maneuvering has left us a little bit lower on the delta V scale. So 1.4 thousand. I mean, it should be more than enough for rendezvous and all that stuff. But we definitely need to consider how much do we have and how much do we need to get back. <clears throat> Okay, and I would say this 
completes our circularization successfully and now time to plan for the rendezvous ma maneuver node. And I think it's the best to plan it at the ascending node because then we can fix both our inclination and uh, <clears throat> also our approach. So I'm just now trying to fiddle a little bit back and forth, see if I can get decent encounter. Which I was able to. Perfect. So we have to warp another 40 minutes. And then we're doing the rendezvous burn. Perfect. Okay, and... Let's see, 20 meters per second and... Two minutes to the burn, one minute, and perfect. Burn complete, and we have an encounter. Wonderful. It won't be on the sunny side, sadly, or will it? Hold on. Okay, great. So, uh, let's open the shield and let us dock to perform, you know, the docking dance. 2.6 kilometers out, soon it will be entering our physics range, and here we go. Okay, so, by the way guys, I think I will call uh, this an episode at the moment uh, we actually dock. So, <clears throat> yeah pretty sure just make sure to like if you like the episode uh, hit that subscribe button for more KSC content and now let us see how will the docking go aligning our pulling up our docking alignment indicator making sure that we are properly aligned and Docking towards Duna Orbital while having Ike in the background. Well, that's nice. Okay. Closing in. And... Docked. Perfect. Thank you guys for watching. This is Groundworks signing off.